How's it going everyone from Newark Liberty International Airport? Welcome back to another trip report video. Today, I'm super excited to bring you on board United's brand new Boeing 737 MAX 8 from here in Newark down to West Palm Beach, Florida. Hope you enjoy the flight. Our gate this afternoon is going to be right here, Charlie 103, for this afternoon's flight down to West Palm Beach, Florida. And I'm sure you could imagine my excitement as I saw our aircraft approaching the gate, arriving in from Nashville. Here is our 737 MAX 8 today, three month old, November 27261. This is also the 737 MAX that wears the United Together colors. And this aircraft is dedicated to all United 2020 team members for their hard work throughout 2020 during the COVID-19 pandemic. What an awesome looking plane. Let's go ahead and get on board. Three words, ladies and gentlemen, three words. New plane smell. Welcome aboard this brand new airplane outfitted with 16 United First Class seats, 54 Economy Plus seats, and 96 Economy seats, totaling 166 seats on this airplane. I'm off to find my seat, which is actually right here, seat 15A in Economy Plus. And I'm sure the first thing that pops out to you about this seat is that United has added back its in-seat in-flight entertainment to this aircraft. I'm super excited to see these IFE screens back and they'll be on all of United's narrow body aircraft before too long. This is known as United's signature interior and it should be on all narrow body aircraft by the end of 2025. United Airlines and the Star Alliance Network probably welcome to all United Flight 374 with service to West Palm Beach, Florida. As you find those seats, please fill a large carry-on luggage in a bank compartment or having small items underneath the seat in front of you. We are predicting a full flight, so do as please hold on to your small and carry-on items, allowing larger rollerboards in the overhead bins. When placing your roller bin on your rollerboard in the overhead bin, please place it upright like a book on a bookshelf, as we can fit five to six rollerboards per bin. On today's flight, we're selling beer, wine, hard seltzer, and liquor. Another incredible feature on this aircraft is the large overhead compartments. Don't quote me on this, but I believe they're called Boeing Space Bins. And these overhead bins can hold up to six bags when the bags are stowed on their side. Pretty awesome. Let us know if you need assistance. Find me a place for your bag as we are inside home. These larger overhead bins actually enable for all passengers on board this airplane to have one roller board fit in the overhead. That said, there was space for everybody's bag on board this flight, and there was no dreaded we're out of overhead bin space announcement. Thanks again for flying with us, and we'll be back in more details with us of today's flight once we're in the air. On behalf of the United and the Starlines Network, we want to wish you a pleasant flight. All right, folks, Sam, we're off, pushing back out of Charlie 103 here at Newark. Welcome. We're excited to have you aboard, and we appreciate your attention as we demonstrate the safety features of this aircraft. This afternoon, we're off to runway 22 right for departure, and I'm not sure how rare this is, but there was absolutely no line for takeoff today at Newark, which was quite nice. This goes without saying, of course, but I am always amazed by how quiet the MAX and the NEO are after departure. And we are now in flight, estimated to arrive three minutes early and climbing to our cruising altitude of 36,000 feet. So it's time to sit back, settle in and enjoy the flight. And I can't wait to show you some of the awesome features on board this new airplane. 
and I want to start off here with the star of the show, aka the in-seat IFE system, again to be seen on all United Narrowbody aircraft by the end of 2025. One of the first things I noticed while configuring my experience today is that there's now accessibility features on board. And as someone that does not have the best eyesight, this was super cool to see. And as you would expect, the IFE screen was super responsive to touch. It felt like as if you were using a smartphone. We are about 10,000 feet and on our way to West Palm Beach. Thank you for choosing to fly with United, with United today. Your safety is our top priority, and we're taking extra care to create a safe and healthy travel experience. Hide the areas of the aircraft are disinfected before every flight. You can learn more about the extra steps we're taking to keep you safe by going to the United app or united.com forward slash green plus. Turned up the seatbelt signs and everything about the cabin. However, remember, while seated at all times, please keep that seatbelt perfect passing around your waist because you can come across it and take the turbulence around to Palm Beach. One of the very unique features on this airplane, and United is actually the only carrier to currently offer this, is Bluetooth wireless entertainment. So you can pair your Bluetooth headset with the in seat IFE system and watch your content. And as you can tell, it's very easy to pair your own headphones. Just turn the Bluetooth feature on, put your wireless headphones in pairing mode, and select them when they appear from the drop-down list. Once the connection has been made, you'll get a notification at the top of the screen letting you know that your Bluetooth device has been paired successfully. Now that your headphones are connected, I want to show you some cool features on this IFE screen. First thing that I just think is really cool is you'll notice there's a Please Wake Me For Meals button. Well, if you want to take a nap, but you still want to be woken up for the drink service, you can just hit that button and a little message on your screen will display to alert the flight crew. Another cool feature is called From The Flight Deck, or otherwise known as Channel 9, where you can hear the communications between your aircraft and ATC. But my favorite feature is Relax Mode, where you can listen to calming music and see different time lapses on your screen. But of course, if none of that interests you, there's a great selection of movies, TV shows, games, and more for you to choose from. I guess, long story short, you will not be bored on this airplane. It's almost time for the in-flight service, so with that being said, let's take a brief look at the tray table. It is quite standard on this aircraft, but it is nice and clean, which is always great to see. And voila, here's the in-flight service. It consists of a Biscoff cookie and a cranberry apple juice today. We're up here at flight level 360 or 36,000 feet. It's quite smooth today, and we got about an hour left in the flight. I went ahead back into relax mode for the remainder of the flight, and who else loves this blue winglet? Your seatbelt's uh, perfectly fastened. 80 miles to the airplane. Yeah. The captain is leaving the seatbelt, so you're kind of requested to return to your seat and fasten your seatbelt. This great flight is unfortunately coming to an end. We're on the descent for West Palm Beach International Airport and we'll be landing shortly on runway 10 left. And as a side note, as we prepare for landing, I do love the mood lighting on board this aircraft. As you can see, the lights are kind of like an orangish red color right now and they'll turn blue before landing. I've always been a big fan of mood lighting. It just makes the atmosphere in the cabin much nicer. Captain has indicated our final descent into West Palm Beach. We will be landing soon, so please put away your carrying items, including laptops. Feel free to keep using and charging your phones and tablets. Just make sure they're in airplane mode and either placed in a pocket or out. If you're seen in an exit row, please unplug all devices from the outlets. Before we touch down, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and comment below what the next aircraft type I should fly on is. Starlights Network probably welcomes you to West Palm Beach, Florida. 
for the local time is approximately 4.31 p.m. We would like to say on behalf of United Airlines, our Star Alliance Network, and especially our in-flight crew, it's been our sincere pleasure serving you today, and we do hope to see you in the near future on the United Flight. Welcome to West Palm Beach and happy holidays.